Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. So today I'm going to talk about Bitcoin. And uh, before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the upcoming videos that could be time sensitive. Also, you can follow me on Twitter as well as uh, Odyssey. Odyssey is a decentralized YouTube. You can earn library token just by joining Odyssey or just by watching video in Odyssey. If you're interested, you can click the link below. That will also help my channel. And I post some other stuff over there because uh, you can't talk about a lot of things uh, in YouTube. And uh, of course, you can, uh, if you're interested, you can join my Patreon group as well. Uh, I usually post some uh, odd coin that has high potential uh, if you're interested you can join my patreon group and also rumble i post some uh, funny or interesting video over there and um, also i also start posting local as well and get a uh, getty you uh, you can also uh, follow me on getty as well and as well as get uh, i think twitter they start to have a uh, more censorship over there as well and be should so let's talk about um, Bitcoin. <clears throat> so Bitcoin drops about 9,000 in an hour on the spot market selling. And uh, El Salvador uh, president saying that they're, they're buying the dips. This is interesting. And I think at one point it dropped almost to 42,000. And uh, right now it's around 49,000 right now. So the price basically uh, permit uh, in Saturday, they fall nearly 10,000 roughly in an hour to a temporary low of 42,000 before bouncing up to 45,000. And the BTC has fallen some 15,000 over the past 24 hours. Uh, Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency, uh, they fell around 1,100 over the same period of time. And, the, and um, basically, <laughs> It has been has been fallen over twenty percent in the past twenty four hours. I mean, I'm not surprised. I mean, we are not in a traditional stock market. You are in a crypto world. Crypto world. If you have dropped like forty percent, fifty percent, is not that uncommon. I mean, twenty percent. I mean, um. Anyway, so if you're new to crypto, of course you'll freak out. But if you're on crypto for quite some time, this is not that uncommon. And every every uh, price decrease is uh, probably is a good opportunity. Uh, not a financial advice. Uh, once again. <clears throat> And um, so basically, they're saying that the spot market selling seems to have driven the uh, cryptocurrency low and it triggered long squeeze in the derivative markets. So um, if you have short squeeze, you're going to pump the price. If you have long squeeze, you're going to thumb the, thumb the, you have to thumb the coin to the uh, because those uh, position has been liquidated. And so uh, they're talking about 4,000 BTC being sold and pushed the market abruptly down. And uh, they, they talk about uh, basically, 1,500 BTC alone was sold in less than a minute at the top of the drop. Uh, that is interesting. So that's why uh, most of the time you should set a price. Uh, you should set set a price ahead of time. Then you just forget about it. Uh, because uh, when you drop in less than a minute, if you it's it's almost impossible to log into the exchange and buy. Right? It's less than a minute at that price or a few minutes or whatever. Maybe you're sleeping or whatever. So it's big. I think it's better to plan ahead, you know, set some price, just set it, set a limit price and just forget about it and then see if it go to that low, you know, you never know. So anything could happen in the crypto world anyway. <clears throat> so um, so they're saying that 600 million worth of Bitcoin future position, uh, uh, they liquidate, I think, in less than an hour. And because of the over leverage earlier this week with open interest, um, with open interest in uh, Bitcoin. So because of the open interest, they are overly leverage, And uh, so it's not uncommon that uh, some position will liquidate, right? Because the market is already oversaturated with leverage. And Tether uh, is a stable stable coin and they saw a spike of 1.025. It's usually one to one because it packed to the US dollar. So 1.025, you can see uh, that's, that's mean people are fight for safety. And uh, El Salvador president basically saying that, hey, um, I'm going to buy the deep. So they basically uh, bought a uh, purchase 150 BTC around at 48,000. That's that's why you have a that's why the, the price uh, still stay at that level. Anyway, <clears throat> right now is around 49,000 and you never know what's going to happen. Uh, it's very interesting in a crypto land. And of course, a lot of uh, new people, they freak out. I mean, nothing to be freaking out. Um, just 
just have a plan before you tr you train. You always have a plan. Anyway, uh, right now is an extreme fear. Uh, for me, I like to buy in extreme fear. And when people are selling, and I like to buy, but not a financial advice. Once again, this is just a. Uh, this video is only for entertainment purposes. Anyway, um, let me know what you think. Are you buying or are you selling or are you freak out? A comment below. I would love to hear from you. And right. So, so anyway, one thing I want to point out: you can never sell at the very top, and you can never buy at the very bottom. So always have a plan before you trade. So, uh, if you don't have a plan, you you are doomed to fail. So you always have a plan what you want to do. So anyway, <clears throat> uh, once again, uh, crypto deep divers, we the people take control of our money. If you find this video helpful, smash the like, subscribe to my channel, also share with your friends, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out the upcoming videos that could be time sensitive. Also, you can follow me on uh, Twitter, uh, Bitchute, uh, Odyssey, uh, as well as Patreon, and Rumble, Gab, uh, Gather, uh, Gaddy, Gather, right, Gather. And locals, yeah, I know we are, we have posting so many places because a huge censorship right now, unfortunately. And re remember, crypto deep divers, you are the you um uh, you are the you are the person who control your money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace out. And this video is only for entertainment purposes, uh, purposes not a financial advice. You should always consult with your financial planner, uh, before making any financial decisions. And this, as I said, this is entertainment purposes. And you are responsible for your money. And I'm not responsible for any loss for this video or future video. And this is only for entertainment purposes. And peace out.